The Prince of Wales met Lionel Richie to officially name him as an ambassador for the Prince's Trust International in Barbados on Tuesday night. The Hello Singer, 69, will now help introduce the Prince's Trust International to a global audience following the reception at the Coral Reef Club Hotel in Folkestone, Barbados. Later in the evening, the singer donned his finery once again to join the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall at a reception held at the Prime Minister of Barbados Mia Motley's residence. Camilla looked elegant in an all-white ensemble, while Charles, 70, donned a navy pin-striped suit. The Prince's Trust International was founded in November 2015 by the Prince of Wales to support people aged 13 to 30 in Australia, Canada, India, Barbados, Jordan. Pakistan, and Malta. It is an extension of the Prince's Trust, which has helped nearly a million young people in the UK transform their lives over the past 43 years. Singer Tom Jones also joined the celebrations later in the day, where he embraced Lionel and posed for pictures with the singer and Prince Charles. Earlier in the day Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall were given a warm welcome as they kicked off the Barbados leg of their 12-day tour of the Caribbean. Charles, was warmly embraced by well-wishers as he and Camilla, 71, took part in a walkabout in Bridgetown on Tuesday. The royals have already visited St. Lucia on their tour, which will also take in an historic trip to Cuba later this month. Yesterday the couple enjoyed some downtime on a Barbados speech as they made the most of a day off in the sun between official engagements. The red carpet was rolled out to mark Charles and Camilla's arrival in Barbados earlier today. A military band paraded through the streets as thousands of well-wishers turned out in the hope of catching a glimpse of the royal visitors. Prince Charles donned a light suit for the occasion, proudly wearing his own military medals pinned to his lapel. Meanwhile the Duchess of Cornwall dressed for the weather in a flowing ice-blue tunic and matching skirt. She carried her essentials in a small handbag and whipped out an umbrella to protect herself from the intense sun. The tour began on Sunday when Charles briefly visited St. Lucia for a few hours and marked the 40th anniversary of the country's independence. He traveled that night to Barbados to be reunited with his wife, who had flown out ahead of the start of the tour. Today the couple watched a military parade before meeting a governor-general and first female prime minister of Barbados. The couple laid a wreath at the Sendograph, and were snapped arriving at the meeting with the governor-general. Charles and Camilla met Dame Sandra Mason, who as Governor-General is the Queen's representative on the Commonwealth Island, and the country's first woman Prime Minister Mia Motley. A barrister who studied at the London School of Economics, Ms. Motley came to power in May last year when her Barbados Labour Party inflicted a crushing defeat on the ruling Democratic Labour Party, winning all the seats in Parliament. During their tour, Charles and Camilla will also visit St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Kitts, and Nevis, Grenada and the Cayman Islands. Charles is also said to be keen to discuss the impact of climate change in the area, having already spoken about the issue in St. Lucia. Speaking about the global threat posed by climate change the Prince said, importantly, the Commonwealth brings us together and gives us the means to harness shared opportunities, as well as to address common challenges. There is no greater challenge facing all of us, in my view, than that of global warming and climate change which, I know, poses nothing short of an existential threat to this island as it does to every part of this region.